I don't know how many of you would have gone into the above the area, above the sanctum, sanctorum of Brahadishwara temple. One of the best sites I've seen in my 35 years of my career. And in that area, all the mudras of the dance forms are carved on stone. Some of them are not complete. I mean, public is not normally allowed since I came as a serious visitor. I was able to get into that area. And you lie down that area lie on the floor, it's fully dirty. But I felt like lie down on the floor and look up into the tip of the Sanctum Santorum. Best, I've never seen a sight like that in my life. And how the stone is cobbled, one of the ancient earliest techniques which man has known. Stone is cobbled. You reach that height by cobbling the stone one above the other. So the gap becomes narrower and narrower and that is what happens. And in that, I just said, Om, Om, Om. And the sound could resonate in a particular way. I cannot forget that experience. And I believe now that architecture is to be experienced, not to be seen. And when you design a building with that principle, that it is to be experienced and not to be seen or not to be photographed, then your design philosophy, the way you design will change completely. This is very, very important. And people like Umapati, Acharya, Sar, etc. will have tremendous experience. There are principles. See, our architecture did not evolve just of that. There is a logic by which our architecture has evolved. There is a reasoning behind how architecture has evolved. It is our ignorance which forces us to tell that this is superstitions and something which is not relevant for the present context. 